Hi everyone, I'm Natalia. Welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna do a homage to one and only Camille Ellis and to her icon press publishing companies that produces amazing works. Let me show you. Look at this. This is going all the way down and the pile is set up high. So yesterday when I did live and I talked about Camille Ellis, a lot of you, well, not a lot of you, but some of you who were in live were never really heard who she is. And I thought this would be a great way um, to share my favorite works from Camille Ellis, especially since it seems I have pretty much everything she ever written, uh, including the publications she has done while she was a professor. She's right now um, no longer holds a position as a professor. Um, I don't know if she's retired or just no longer uh, works as a professor, but she definitely was uh, one at one point in time. So I have some books from that period of time as well. And I also have a lot of books that her publishing company, Icona Press, has published. If you don't know who Camilla Ellis is, she is not only a professor, a cartoon monster, an amazing cartoon monster, but she's also definitely, in my opinion, and in my view, an artist, a poet, an amazing photographer, and I would say a thought leader in the field of tarot and cartomancy. Now, Camilla Ellis is a very special person to me because out of all of the tarot books I have and all of the tarot writers I have, I would say that she is the only one, in my opinion, that really pushes a perspective forward, that really is capable of shifting the way you look and think and understand and relate to the cards. Enrique Enriquez, as many of you know, has been published by her press, Icon of Press. You may argue is on par with Camila Ellis, and I would not disagree. It just so happened that she produces a tremendous amount of work and she's very prolific. And I have read pretty much all of her work and intimately familiar with her work. While Enrique Enriquez has a number of, of work produced, but it's not as prolific in writing. And so I'm less familiar with his work, but I would say they are pretty much on par. If you don't know Camille Ellis and you are using, especially if you're using um, divination with playing cards, especially if you like Lenormand or Lenormand, I don't know how people pronounce it differently. And especially if you really like um, Terre de Marseille, I would say you, this is absolutely a must, not all of it, of course, but I'll show you my favorites. At least one or two books from her is a must because she's going to give you food for salt, very thought provoking, very fascinating, very depthful, very heady in a very poetic way material that I have yet to come across in tarot books. There's a lot of tarot books on the market. And in my opinion, a lot of them feel like the same old, the same old, the same old perspective on majors and minors, the same interpretations, maybe with a minor twist. I have yet to see a writer that has provided an angle and perspective that she does in the field of cartomancy and tarot. For that reason, I think she is indispensable and invaluable. And I think that she has yet to really, or the world has yet to really catch up to what she has to offer. So let me share with you some of my favorites. I'm going to have to say I love all of her books. There's some books that have been published by Acorner Press by other authors. Some of them were too heavy for me, I'm going to be honest with you, were a little bit hard for me to comprehend, but I enjoyed them nonetheless. There's books that Camille herself has written that sometimes read very poetically heavy, but I enjoy it nonetheless. And there's books that she reads that I just absolutely adore. So I'm going to share with you some of my favorite books and if you have read some of her books, if there's books that 
um, I'm sharing so that you seen from her that I don't have, please comment below and share. This is small, but it is mighty. This is called Divination with Cards, A Short History. It is really interesting. Really, I'm trying to find words to describe it. It's very really interesting. In the back, it says, short history of divination. This card looks at three main traditions, French, British, and Anglo-American gone French. The style is sustenant and personal with a writing performing on two levels, the descriptive in a historical context and the reflective in a contemplative context. I enjoy this. This is one of those bites somebody throws you that you sit and muse over and sink into reverie and enjoy. Highly recommend. Now, Bent Sorensen, as my understanding, is Camilla's partner. I believe he's her husband. And he has written Freud and Divination, a packet book on cards, magic, and psychoanalysis. Coming from a Freudian background, of course, I couldn't resist. This may not be relevant to you, but if you're interested in psychoanalysis, if you have any kind of psychological background, this may be amusing to read. Now, for those of you who are, and I selected my favorites to share with you that may be the most relevant to all of you, because this is, after all, a terror channel. We do talk about terror, so I want to share books that are going to be relevant to you. Camille has Read Like a Devil, published in three volumes. There's Read Like a Devil for playing cards, there's Read Like a Devil for Lenormand, and there's Read Like a Devil for uh, Marseille. This is Read Like a Devil for Marseille. I have right here, oh, you guys can't see it because the camera high up, but I have here also Read Like a Devil with playing cards. I don't have the Lenormand because I don't really read Lenormand, although I took her Lenormand class and it was amazing. So Read Like a Devil, Marseille. Why do you need this book? I would even argue you need this book even if you don't read Marseille, you just read Terror in general. Because it's going to bust open your thinking about cards, about numbers, about the way of seeing, about sequence, about positioning, about movement. It's indispensable in my opinion, especially if you like to read Terror de Marseille. It's going to give you nuances you haven't thought about before. So I highly recommend Read Like a Devil, Marseille, for anybody who uses any kind of Terra. If you're into Lenormand or playing cards, get her other books. Now, this is not published by, this is not written by her. This is by John Gra uh, Grand Rose, but it's published by her publishing company, iCorner Press. I love it. You can always recognize it as a little symbol. And this is called The Archetype of a Magician. It also has a magician, uh, Camille produced limited edition majors only called the Red Tarot or the Red Majors. I don't recall exactly what the name of it. This is a magician from her own um, cards. This is an interesting book because it expands your understanding and depths and breadths of how you see magician as an archetype. And if you're especially drawn to magician as an archetype, I highly recommend this. This one you may have seen because YouTubers sometimes when they share books they love will throw this one in with all of the valid and good reasons. This is Terror Marcel by Emile, by Camille. I always want to say Emile, Camille Ellis. This is really, really good. I would say this is, I would say in her collection, this is probably kind of like a stepping stone into the world of her books. This is very good. And many of you have read it, and many of you rave about it. Like I say, a lot of her books are going to be Marseille focused, but deeply, in my opinion, indispensable if you're any kind of thorough reader, including myself, who likes to use those deck. What is not? If you feel like you are jaded with thorough, if you feel like you lost touch, if you feel like you're getting bored, if you feel like it doesn't feel magical to you anymore, if you feel like it has lost its meaning to you and in your life. This is a great book that's going to share you everything else, Tara, and everything that it's not. And it just really reignites your passions 
with the cards again. So highly recommend what is not. This one is a very personal one, I find, the childless witch. Trembling Dance Voice Oracle Grace. And it starts in the back, it starts out by saying, don't have any children, the author's mother said, in response to the question, what's your greatest wisdom? Posted to her by her own daughter when she was 10. 40 years down the road, this book springs out of investigating just what this wisdom is all about. I love this book because I guess I'm a child with we, a witch, if you will. Um, I don't have children. I never wanted to have children. Um, never had any desires to have children. But wait, this book has beautiful, amazing photographs of Camilla um, taken in her home. So I think for anybody out there who resonates with not being a mother and looking into what does it even mean to be a mother and who's mothering for, or just to reflect on her musings. I really enjoy this childless switch. This one right here, the Oracle Trails, right? Principles of Magic with Cars will make you realize and connect to the magic embedded in the cards and perhaps even ways you can think about using the cards in a more magical way. This is another one of my favorites. This one's the power of the trumps and pips, as you can see, was in my early days of reading heavily highlighted, is a really good expression at looking at those cards. All of her books, sometimes I will pick up a book and then I will think, well, how, how similar are the musings going to be when she's talking about the same majors? And it's amazing. This woman finds constantly new ways of expressing new ways, of bringing new ways, of looking new ways, of reimagining new ways, of redefining new ways, of um, discussing tarot, whether it is minor or major. So highly recommend this one was a very interesting read. It's called Terror Tracing. And it's more like a collection of essays. I actually had a husband um, read an essay. There's an essay here on, uh, if I recall correctly, correctly on uh, Italo Calvino book, um, Tale of Two Cities, is that it? Let me double check. I had my husband read it because yes, Italo Calvino's plot interludes uh, instead of intra introductions, because we have both read that book. My husband adores it, Alec Calvino. So these are really interesting reflective musings and essays. Um, I just think in general, reading books that challenge the way you think, reading books that challenge uh, the way you uh, understand information, reading books that massages your brain is vital for self-development. Now, the next two books I'm going to share with you are books published by Iconer Press, again, Camellia, yes, um, Publishing Press, but they're all Enrique Enrique's books. And if you don't know who Enrique Enrique's book is, Google him, find his documentary on, I think it's called Terology or something like that. Somebody please comment and give me the full name. It's an amazing documentary. And just look at the things that he done, the interviews he done, he is a very fascinating person, just like Camilla is. He's definitely a thinker in his own right uh, when it comes to Tarot. Uh, this is the classic one. This is, I think, is the first one that he you know, published called Tarology. I had this book, and then I gifted a copy of it to Cassia from Terramap. Then I repurchased it because apparently I am acquiring a collection of Camilla Ellis books and books published by Aquana Press. But this is a great book. Again, all of these books that I'm sharing with you are intended to bust you open from conventional thinking about your own. None of these books are going to necessarily teach you how to read terror based on fundamentals, in my opinion. They're all going to teach you how to learn to be a reader in your own right, how to think differently in your own way versus the same old, the same old, um, when you draw this, it means this, and you draw this, and then it means this. I think that uh, the art of cartomancy and tarot is far more complex and nuanced 
than the way a lot of us are actually reading it. For that reason, we're getting what we call flat re readings when they just feel flat. And they feel flat because we're not looking beyond. Um, and this is why I like Enrique especially because he pushes you to look beyond. He pushes you to look further ahead. There's two volumes of this. Um, highly recommend. This is basically Enrique having discussions with numerous variety of individuals, both in terror world, in magic world, philosophers. It is fascinating, fascinating discussion. Artists, it is fascinating discussion into the world of cards. It is in fascinating discussion into um, cartomancy and tarot. It's fascinating. Uh, each one of the discussions takes you on a different path. It's a great read, especially, again, if you're lost at touch with the role, you want to get back into the magic of it, you want to get into nuances of it, you want to feel, again, that special feel that only tarot and the essence of it provides. I highly recommend both of these values. So these are my favorites. I, like I said, I have a whole bunch of, I have more Camille Ellis books. I have way more books published by uh, her press. I love all of them. I think all of them are phenomenal. And I have another one on the way coming to me tomorrow, the recent one that she has published. These books are, in my opinion, if you want to be a great tarot reader, great cartomancer, if you want to be a great out-of-the-box thinker, if you want to be outside of a status quo, outside of conformity, outside of playing within the rules, outside of conventional thinking, outside of the same old, the same old, all of her books will help you get out of the zone, will bust you open out of that feeling, which I think is so essential. Right? Why would you want to be like everybody else? Uh, why would you want to think like everybody else? Um, don't you want to discover your own way of seeing and analyzing and vocalizing and thinking? Uh, I hope you do. I definitely know that I do. And if you're anything like me, and if that's something that you strive for, engaging your brain in materials that will massage those areas, that will massage also the aspects of your psyche, is indispensable to you. If a lot of us, I find myself, let me speak for myself, if I read a lot of books that are kind of quick and to the point and the same old that I don't learn anything new, I'm really not pushing myself forward. I'm just, my ego is just appeasing and uh, just keeping myself at my status quo. And that's not really an interesting way to live. So comment below. If you familiar with Camila Ellis, which ones are your favorite books from her? Is there a book I haven't shared by her that you love? I'd love to see that. Also comment below. If you never heard of her, which book out of which ones I shared excites you to pick it up and dig deeper? She also does phenomenal classes. So there's some, she has some teachings in her uh, Aradia Academy that are free. She has some classes that are, I think, are very fairly priced to take where she is a teacher and she just like I said I took her Lenormand class um, where I got to interact uh, with people in the class and with her um, I just think she's overall is also the energies that I get from her that she's she's a really interesting and a very amazing person and an amazing woman so highly highly recommend if you're not familiar with her and also some of these authors from, from iconer uh, press um, get yourself familiar with them. So having said that, I'm going to sign off and I hope you have a great day. Bye.